of Lord Splodge Shorts. Now firstly, I must apologise for my voice because it may go a little crackly or a little Barry White from time to time. That's because I'm recovering from a little bit of a throat infection at the moment. But anyway, on with the show. In this week's episode, we're going to look at rememberthemilk.com, an online GTD or task manager style app. Let's start by opening the website. Right, so here's Remember the Milk. It's nice and simple at rememberthemilk.com. But let's start by signing on. Um, if you haven't got an account, you simply sign up here and put in your details. So first name, last name, username, password, email address, and whatever date format is right for you. So English or American. Just going to sign on. Right, this is a screen you're greeted with when you sign on. It's essentially any tasks that are coming today, tomorrow, or any overdue tasks. Now, it's very simple to add a task. All you need to do is in this bar here, type it. So I'm going to go and then press enter. And there we go. We've got, got some nails for the shed. Now, as you can see, if I hover my mouse over it, you get some details to the right. It's due, never. It repeats, never. Uh, it's got no tags, no location, no URL, and it's not been postponed. So we're going to click on it, and I'm going to want it to be due tomorrow. So we'll type tomorrow. And remember, the milk is clever enough to know that tomorrow, in this case, is Tuesday the 5th of October. Now you'll notice that it's set this as a work task. Uh, so in this case, get some nails for the shed. However, I don't really want it to be a work task so I'm going to move it to the personal list now to do that you go to the more actions drop down and you can select move to and in this case I've got work study personal or inbox I'm going to move it to personal now it's in personal now every time you do an action in remember the milk it gives you a little bar at the top telling you what it's done now you can also click undo and that's going to put it back in the work option so I'm gonna go and do that again I'm gonna click that so I've got the task selected more actions move to personal and there it is it's in my personal now I'm going to create a new task in the study option this way I've clicked on the study tab and I'm gonna go Okay, so I've got to read chapter 12 of a book for a degree I'm doing now I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna say this is due today there it is now if I go up to the top there and you click overview I can now see that read chapter 12 of the book for the degree course is due today tomorrow I've got to get a uh, <coughs> get some nails for the shed no tasks are overdue okay so back to the tasks I can click here or I can click this and if you don't want to see this overview when you first log on you can always click skip this page back to tasks now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the date of this so it was due yesterday there you go uh, it's changed to yesterday so if you look at the overview there's nothing to be done today it's to get some nails for the shed tomorrow and overdue is this read chapter 12 book for degree course so now at a glance you can see what you've got to do so let's say i'm going to get this done i can click the postpone and that's moved it a day so it's postponed it again i click postpone again that put it to tuesday and if we look at it this time we can see that it's been postponed twice Completing it is as simple as that. Instead of the postpone button, we click the complete button. And that's it completed. I'm just going to add another task. Now here we have post letter to bank. Uh, I'm not going to give it a due date. Uh, I'm going to give it a time estimate because I want to do it on my lunch. So it's 15, 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to give it a tag. 
Um, in this case, I'm going to give it a location. Now, I'll let you can assign tasks to locations. So, I'm going to post this letter to the bank, but I want to do it at the post office. So, I'm going to click on the locations tab and I'm going to zoom in on Derby. That's where I am. Let's say the post office is here on the corner of these two streets. I'm going to add a location. Uh, it's telling me click on the <coughs> it's telling me to click on the map to create a new location. So there we go. We'll call this and there we go. We got a location, and you can simply add more. So as you can see there, there's a Royal Derby Hospital. And you can keep <clears throat> and you can keep adding locations that simple yeah. if you click on manage locations you can set as default or delete location or you can just simply delete right let's go back to the tasks uh, post letter to bank uh, location if you start typing part of the location it suggest what it is so I click on that to finish it and we've now changed the location of this task to the post office you can set a priority of a task by pressing uh, one two or three with a task selected uh, the keys are down here one two and three there's a uh, quite a few keyboard shortcuts you can subscribe to calendars you can share them with a lot more remember the milk is quite a powerful uh, task manager and a lot of its abilities are available for free you can of course upgrade to a pro account it's 25 pound a year and it supports it gives you priority support by email and you get these features you can remember the milk for android you can get the iphone pro edition blackberry windows mobile and you get part of the pro tester program and you also get a warm fuzzy feeling Thank you for watching this screencast and stay tuned for more Lord Spod shorts coming soon. I'd also like to apologise for missing out last week but like I said I've uh, had rather a nasty throat infection so not been able to speak but uh, please stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.